everyone. Welcome to the Green Dream Project. Jim here. And today I am going to be taking soil samples from the land because one of our plans is to build our own house, maybe even other structures using a technique called earth bags. And I want to make sure we got the right soil type to be able to do that. So I'm going to be taking soil samples from three different locations out here today. I'm going to be taking one from where we are thinking about planning our first build. I'm going to take one over here where we're planning to plant our garden. And I'm going to take one a little bit further down where we found like a nice uh, rich dark soil. Almost kind of a like really nice hummus looking soil. So I'm going to take those three samples and find out exactly what I'm working with here. Alright, come check it out. All right, so this is the site where I'm gonna take my first sample. And this is about the area where we're thinking about doing our first build. I got my tool, I got my shovel, and I got my pickaxe just in case. Now, what I wanna try doing here is I wanna try digging at least a foot deep just to get past any possible organic material. I just want a straight soil sample no rocks, no bugs, no grass or anything like that. Yeah, you can tell there's already a little bit of organic material, even uh, even in this space where you don't see much grass. There's roots buried in here. I got this just to check my depth. And over here, I'm pretty close. I'll probably get down a couple more inches. Yeah, it really doesn't matter too much the depth. I mean, you know, it doesn't have to be super accurate as to like a foot. But basically, you just gotta double check that organic matter, make sure there's nothing in there. I'll probably dig a little bit more, just try and get another couple inches and then uh, clean it out a little bit, get my soil sample. Just to clean out any rocks, any roots. A little harder about this far down. Basically, I want to fill this jar about halfway. because I don't want to leave this exposed. Just gotta get all this back in. <laughs> all right, almost seems like I have more than I started with. <laughs> all right, so, start in the second area. Post garden site. This area's got a bit more grass, so I'm just going to want to be careful not to get too much of that in the soil sample. So I got sample number two. Looks like there's a little bit of grass in there. I'll have to pull that out. But otherwise, that's ready to go. I just got to fill this in. On 
to number three. Going way out that way. On to sample number three. As you can see already, I'm not sure if you can see it. But I'll bring it in. This stuff is dark. Gives a much better sale quality of this one. Which we might use later on when we're trying to start um, our food forest. It might, might start it around this area. Now that I got my mason jar here filled with half filled with soil, I want to fill the other half with some water. snug. I'm going to shake that up so the water mixes in with the soil. Now that it's good and thoroughly mixed, now we play the waiting game. Uh, so usually this can take about a day, maybe longer, for it to separate. And we can see the different particle sizes. So just do you a favor and we'll come back to this at a later time when it's ready. All right, and now through the magic of video, it's been about 24 hours. Let's take a look at the, uh, the jar, shall we? Okay, so you can see, hopefully you can see from our sample over here you got a lot of larger grains down this way and very fine sediment right up here. This is going to be the sand content and right up here is the clay content. Now just kind of measuring it out, I figured we got at least about 20% clay content in this sample, which works out perfectly for earth bag building. So we're excited. Where we got this sample from is exactly where we're planning to build, to do our first build with the earth bags. So this test I believe was a success. I'm very excited about how we're gonna progress from here. All right, thanks for watching everyone. Please like and subscribe if you like what we're doing out here. All right, bye.